All right, welcome back. So let's go ahead and explore a little. Ooh, these are essentially your game's treasure chests. Okay, what a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. It's the best way to get the wood you need. And I mean, they'll, they basically regrow as soon as you leave the island. Just uh, move your uh, move your uh, stick back and forth, and your analog stick back and forth, and th that's about it. Joke aside, uh, that's how you do it. All right. Go ahead and get a few logs because we got some building to do. Don't worry, the tree can't hurt you as falling. You can hurt the tree. How fair is that? Okay, let's go ahead and limestone. So you need to hold it, but if you hold it too long, that happens. And you gotta wait a few extra seconds before you can do it again. Okay, so limestone. And that's it. Oh, let's, uh, let's uh, we could probably go swimming. If there's really anything else on this island. Other than those trees. Berries and that rock and the, uh, the chest. So you don't have to wait for like the spirit to get in. All right. So um, when it's too dark, uh, notified by the uh, two Z's there. But um, you can't move the boat. Side effect of your ever light being well light <laughs> or some other technicality <laughs> that being said it will allow people to sleep undisturbed you in the meantime can do anything you want tackle and fit business or just chill in the deck um so yeah you can also go to sleep uh that sends time forward not like you suffer from sleep deprivation or anything, so kind of do whatever you need. If you don't really have much going on, um, and just ex just uh, going to the next day is usually preferable. Sometimes, you, I mean, you want to fish a little while. Get some early game fish. I think pretty much all you're going to catch at this point is herring and like old boots, but I mean, a couple extra herrings that you can, you know, feed spirits. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh, we have enough to build our field. Unfortunately, you can't build something um, if something's in the way. I mean, you can edit it and just move stuff around. That's perfectly legal for some reason. Um, I don't believe we have any... Yeah, we don't have any actual seeds, so let's just um, unfortunately it is too dark, we can't actually move the boat. I wish you could at least put in the coordinates that if you haven't, if you didn't already have something in, um, the boat would just start going right away. Never, uh, it was allowed to. Alright, get some more vision, and... 
we're going to head to Hummingbird. Also need to visit that little thing that looked like a bus station. So when that bell appears in the, the little dial thing, um, that means that you're more than welcome to ring the bell. No one will get mad at you. I do, like, really want to get this stuff. <laughs> so, A. That's a lot of seeds. Okay. Down and um, A for Xbox controllers, uh, B for... <laughs> B for um, Switch and X or across for um, PlayStation. Uh, allows you to dive look for the shiny goodies in the water. Alright. Ah. Alright. Yep. Sure. Yep. Yep. Cool. Okay. Already got seeds. Thanks. But yeah, if you didn't, you know, get seeds in any of those boxes, Although I'm pretty sure, like, to start off with, it um, intends for you to get, uh, get seeds in those in one of those crates. Like, it's purposefully set in that way. It's like um, you're supposed to go through the crate. Uh, that's just the way it's supposed to be set up, I believe. It's intended for you to do that. E. And this is Hummingbird. Little town. There's a lot of these nice little villages every which way. In the Great Sea or whatever this place is called. I think the Great Sea is actually um, Wind Waker and Zelda. <laughs> so there's a bunch of little um, people you can talk with. So those obols that you get, you can actually spend them at shrines. Fortunately, we only have one and we need two before we can actually... Um, do anything with them. Thank you. Spirits and turnips? Wow. So, there are other spirits in these towns. Um, you can always tell which ones are important, like, like, um, that you can actually take with you by their little aura. Uh, so if you had noticed... A nerd here. Um, so if you notice, these guys' auras kind of are just smoky. Um, when we met Gwen for the first time, her aura looked like a deer. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon City. I, I actually heard that that movie was not good. You know. I don't know. I don't know how you screw up the uh, plot to Resident Evil 2, but... Shoo. One expensive key. Gwen, help. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes.
You should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Ooh, ouch. This is... It's actually a pretty adult game. Like, I mean... The game deals with death, which... Is already, you know, kind of an adult theme. But... I mean, they're not afraid to use some cuss words. Not like the F word or anything, but definitely um, a few things. Be warned, you treacherous uh, striped weevil. Won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, just fair prices. Stop being dishonest at once. Next time I see you, ugh, I'll try being nicer. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm just really tired. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your, friendly, uh, your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. Both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. Want to come up here? Uh, come up, don't you? And see it in your eyes. Why? It is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanely high. I guess you could also use the stairs in the house. Some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Up. Upstairs crew for life. Alright. Um, so we can go ahead and talk. Uh I don't really have a whole lot of seeds now, apparently. Oh, I was on sell. It was like, this seems wrong for some reason. Alright. And all of our glims, basically. So that we can have quite a few, um,. Trying to improve her mood a little. Okay, we could, you know, stand around and talk with people, but uh, we don't get, why don't we get a move on? We got some stuff we need to do. Got to check on our farm. Um, let's go ahead first and decide where we're going to go next. All right. Um, it looks like we can't white, uh, but later on you can actually make a couple different trips. That is as green as your hat. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for noticing my hat. Um, don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. More like all the time. <laughs> That's my only sort of gripe with the uh, the farming and planting and stuff is it all the time. At least you don't have to fill up your water. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you don't have to fill up your uh, watering pail. Um, hmm. guess the, the bus station is not here. Well, I mean, the bus station is here, but, like, the person that we're, we were supposed to meet, not here. Oh, oof. Alright, 
Let's go to this little island over here. We're going to have to go through some storms to get there, but uh, it's worth it. We... Uh, just, uh, we got, you know, we have to do something. We killed the time, so, uh, let's fish. I definitely don't find this, uh, fishing, um, to be quite as difficult as the Stardew Valley fishing. That could, uh, could definitely become a headache. Definitely, if you haven't watched that series, um, I would highly recommend it. Sadly, I kind of had to end it, um, because I kept losing footage for one reason or another. Um, and we just missed too many big moments to justify skipping it. So, sorry. I really enjoyed the series when I was doing it, um, and at some point I will gladly go back. Just not right now. Alright. Sorry, I was bored. <laughs> Just waiting for us to get to this island. Hey. I think this is where you meet your second spirit. Because you meet him relatively early. Oh, hello. Free. Please give me wood. Ideally, you want to be spending most of the night on an island rather than on the boat. Usually you're doing something else on an island. But that way you're spending the time traveling during the day when you can actually, you know, travel. Ooh, lemon. My lemon! This has a very weird shaped aura. Alright, just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. The island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship with cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's uh, just go to the boat. Alright. Don't believe there's anything else on this island other than those couple trees and the spirit. Not even any berries. Very sad. I uh, guess we missed three here. Uh, go ahead and take it down. We need the wood more than the tree needs the wood. Duh. Yeah, like, I don't even think there's a treasure chest on this one. Just you wait. Oh boy, I wonder who this person's gonna be. Oh, right, you can't actually do anything else while you're introducing a new spirit. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Ah, uh, so bright. I'll like, close my eyes for that. Me, Stella. Your uncle, Atoll. Atoll? I don't know. Surprised? Happily, I hope. Um, I've been on that island for a while now. Can't wait to see the sights to see with you. So yeah, this is actually our uncle. Um, a little sad to think about, but I mean, it's also kind of sad to think about the fact that uh, Stella is 
dead, kind of. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun times with our uh, uncle here, and he's usually one of the easiest to please of all the spirits. I actually really like Adel. That's a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. Only heard the rumors. Apparently, catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Okay. Wait a darn second. We're missing a few bolts. I guess. You've uh, been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. And Adel improves our fishing stuff, so now we can actually fish and get, you know, decent fish. So, alright, this is what I'm talking about. Don't uh, let it go when it turns red like that. Hey, a squid. Ooh. Alright, let's uh, try a few different things. Okay. We will talk with Adel first. It never stood a chance. You uh, sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace fishing, ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. It reminds me, I had the shiny thing in my pocket on the island. Nice. There's our second oval. Um, let's go ahead. Probably should have. Picking it out early will just get you the resource back. So you don't have to worry about wasting a resource if you decide that that's just not what you want. Um, I just want to do five rather than uh, one. That way we actually, you know, get some extra fish out of it. Get some extra meals, because Adel's pretty easy to please. He'll eat basically anything. Although he likes a certain type of food. I think there's one type of food that he doesn't like. That's the only thing. I can't remember offhand what it is. Oh, there is a new island, although we just got a oval. Our second oval, actually. Alright, get the fish. Um, so I'm going to elect to go and get the um, prime finished first. Um, thankfully, the rain actually does water your plants for you. As, you know, it should. But, uh, I mean, there is kind of room for head. I don't know. Okay. So, when the... When there's, like, an event in the game like this, um, the boat will kind of stop. Like, you, you don't see the little sidebar there. Up in the left hand corner. Um, that means that you can collect certain resources. So what we're going to do is actually be collecting uh, lightning in a bottle. And through the power of magic, um, oh, okay. So where the um, Where the little lightning is showing up, that's where it's about to strike. Don't like don't worry about, you know, not getting all of them. There's no like, you know, reward for I think the cat can actually collect some for you. 
since our boat is so small right now, um, yeah, I think we have basically all the, we filled all the bottles we can at the moment. Um, so we're just collecting money at this point. Since our boat is so small, it's pretty easy to actually collect a lot of these. Alright, like it's uh, done. Uh, fuck with him, please. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second. You feel that rumble? What a rush. Looks like our coffee. We got two ovals. Yep, and that's what I'm doing. All right, got some coffee. Coffee is really fast to make. So, uh, go ahead and throw that in. Yeah, pretty quick. Um, nothing much to it. And again, Gwen loves coffee. So, uh, actually a really good... Um, like, rather hungry. This is one damn fine cup of coffee. Alright. I'm not entirely sure um, if you can give her more than one coffee. I know she doesn't really like foods, but I mean, she loves coffee. I can't imagine she would say no to coffee. Oh, um, we are going to acquire the double jump a staple of these type of games uh double jumps really do uh and double jumps or high jumps really do like uh open the game up a lot all right sweet oh um yeah We are going to take a break here. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.